What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you so soon because Chantal has came back with yet another mukbang. Now, this one, she starts off wishing Sala well. He's going to go enjoy his meal in another room. She's having fried fish, which she wants to cool down so Julie can have it. She's got a number of sauces, hidden piece of bread, rice. She adds sauce to everything, including the rice, to ensure that it's only going to be hers. For max carbs, she puts the bread and the rice together. And you can really tell in this video, just go watch any portion of it. Her enjoyment of food is greater than any other enjoyment she seems to have in life. You know, the doctors told her, limit rice to a palm-sized amount. And yet here she is with a full bowl. There's more rice than anything else. And you can really see how hard of a time she has with her hands. The puffiness, the inflation, the water, whatever it is. It's hard for her to articulate her fingers enough to pull this fish apart. And it's noticeable. She struggles. And none of this is indicative of what she came to Kuwait to do. Three mukbangs in three days. Eating portions that just visually appear to be too much. Eating an entire meal, in this case, with her hands. And for what purpose? To cite how cheap it is. To validate her eating fried fish. Comparing this to Red Lobster, which she said she couldn't afford and understands is going bankrupt. Other than the fish eyes, because it's a whole fish staring at her, half of this video is her talking about absolutely nothing. She then transitions into a show that she fell asleep watching on Netflix. It's called From. She says it's a good show. She doesn't want to spoil it. But in general, you wind up in this town by accident. You can't escape. She has such long pauses trying to get through this. She's dragging her clothes through all of the food. Zero respect for her attire. It makes it nearly impossible to follow her describe the show because you're just so awestruck at how she's eating and how long these pauses need to be. You know, she tries to describe the show, but her lust for the food overweighs her desire to talk about whatever she wants to share. I mean, the show to me almost kind of sounded like 30 Days of Night. She just keeps reiterating, you know, it's a good show. If you like horror, you can binge watch this. But she can't even complete that thought because she has to tell us, hey, did you notice I'm drinking water? That's because Sala has the soda that came with this meal. She stops going over the show and then starts back over from the beginning as if she hasn't spoke about it at all. She said she's on the fourth episode. She fell asleep watching it. It held her attention because she really can't enjoy movies or shows because of her limited attention span. She mindlessly shovels massive spoonfuls of rice, barely chewing, reiterating this is on the Kuwait Netflix. And then she abruptly stops eating. She says, you know, this is a staple for her, that it's cheaper for them to eat out than to make food because she couldn't fry a fish like this, wouldn't know how to start. And she's going to take us around one day to show us all these fish places and how fresh they are. I thought when we went back to Kuwait, things were going to be different. I thought when we went back, we were going to have Sala focusing on our health. And yet here we are doing the same thing we've done everywhere else only seeking different ways of validation. Different ways of championing ourselves. It's almost like she wants rewarded for eating this meal. As if she sought out this meal that she could afford, that she couldn't make, that she deems healthy, and therefore everyone should be proud of a positive decision she's making. Yet if we go back to just yesterday, she was eating massive amounts of food. I understand that, you know, technically somebody would want food every single day, but you can see in real time her relationship with food is very much fractured. And I think when we go back to the beginning, we talk about how she said, hey, I'm doing this for education. I'm doing this to show what it looks like. What are you showing, Chantal? You're not showing healthy portions. You're not showing things in line with what your doctors recommended. You're just coming online and doing the same thing over and over and over to the same audience. 
And I've long said, you, you're really fracturing your channel because it's almost like you want to come online and eat, but you don't want to make it solely about the eating because you're concerned if you do that enough, you are going to have a problem with your channel. So what you like to do is come online with a topic that you can talk about while you eat because to you, I think that's some type of safeguard. I just admitted I had all these issues with food. I'm going to sit here and eat too much, but I need a way to validate it, and I'll use this TV show as my way of doing so. But the problem is she doesn't have enough notes. She doesn't have enough information to speak at length about what she wants to. So we get these very broken up videos where half the video, in this case, literally half of the 22-minute video is mindless eating, and then the back end of the video is just trying to work through the story. I mentioned in my last video, she talks about these dreams. The dreams don't even seem believable from a dream standpoint because she remembers so much detail. She can't remember what the doctors tell her to do. She can't remember what the therapist told her to do. But she can remember the cost of red lobster fish. She can understand quickly that this meal isn't something they could afford to do on their own on the fly mentally, but she can't comprehend she shouldn't be eating this much rice. That's why people say she's coming online to be put in a position to very clearly be harming herself. And even setting that aside, what is she going to do if these videos do get taken down? I've long said what she needs to do is break these into separate videos. If you want to review something, pick something and start reviewing it. Consistently review TV shows, movies, horror, whatever. That will be a natural transition into your horror games. But instead, you're just doing a kind of mix match of content and commentary. And it's not like you're trying to find your path, because sometimes people will do that. They'll realize, hey, the way this channel's been going, things aren't kind of proceeding the way I want. I'm losing some of my audience. Let me try to regain my footing. Let me try to cover this. Let me try to cover that. Let me try to go back to what I've been doing and analyze what my audience wants to see and then cater content toward them. Chantal doesn't seem to be doing any of that. And it's because you truly get the idea that she is using YouTube as a means to fulfill her desires to eat and validate that she has to do this because that's the only way she can make content. It's the only way she's going to make income. There's no reason that the week that she's been back there, she hasn't attempted to do one thing to prioritize her health because that was the big champion of Sala, right? Sala was going to be so supportive. When she came back, he was going to be, you know, the knight in shining armor. And what has he done? He's facilitated horrible groceries, allowing her to buy things that she knew she couldn't have in the home, like the noodles. We've then seen her tear through all of that food, multiple pizzas, one that she left in the oven, wasted, two to three packs of noodles, a total bottle of juice. And then this gets offset with a full takeout meal of fried fish and rice, which is two things she should not be having to begin with. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. I personally don't think she will continue to do these videos for free. It'll be interesting to see if we get to that point, though, and I think that point is coming. I think she's laid too much framework of all her problems for this to just be excused away. Again, appreciate you watching this. Be back soon as I can with more commentary.